Last year, I predicted in The Sims 4 that we are either going to get a food pack or a dine out refresh. And less than three months later, they announced the Home Chef Hustle Pack. So The Sims have a strategy. They love to drop hints to future packs in the item descriptions. It's been a game that The Sims have been playing with the players for years. Sometimes they do throw hints to deceive us, but for the most part, it gives us a pretty good understanding of what to expect. I've done a little bit of investigating. There are some really exciting future Sims Sims 4 packs, and that is exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. And I wanna explore exactly how they will work by looking at the similar packs in The Sims 3. So if you're kind of intrigued about The Sims 4 over the next couple of years, this video is for you. Now we're gonna jump into three themes that I think are going to be future Sims 4 packs. We're gonna start with the strongest all the way down to the weakest. So this one here, these random objects are again from recent Sims 4 packs, all hinting towards space. Let's quickly go through all the descriptions actually so you can get an idea of all the buzzwords. This item here mentions the future sim labs, which is maybe some kind of science lab. This item here talks about with the addition of another dimension. This rug from Crystal Creations talks about the balance of energies of our space. These table side lace curtains talk about transforming a humble space into a timeless and inviting destination. These curtains are really interesting from four rent because the title of them is save us from ruin kind of plays into that idea that maybe our planet is at risk also seen in this description which says let this teapot be a reminder of the beauty of this world and why it must be cherished while we still have it definitely definitely alluding to some kind of storyline where earth is in danger this awning from cozy bistro talks about regardless of the weather or the cosmos so mentioning cosmos this object here is called the street side stars Shade, which is about being under an umbrella where the stars come to you. Another object from Cozy Bistro talks about indulging in an atmosphere of a timeless allure. Now moving on to some new objects. These are from the Love Struck expansion pack. So we have this deep tone table, which talks about a timeless elegance. Also this delicate iron bench talks about the delicacy and strength of an outdoor space. I thought that was pretty good. The monster unleasher, unleash your inner monster and push towards new limits. I feel like this could be hinting towards that storyline. Something to do with monsters in outer space, maybe. I mean, obviously a lot of this could be reaching. There's not really any way of knowing if this is relevant until the pack, if the pack gets announced. So I'm just throwing some theories. This one is really interesting. This is a beautiful print from Lovestruck, and it talks about how each piece is an explosion of color creating a lively atmosphere, infusing life and energy into the energy. Interesting, energy into the energy. We got another print in Lovestruck, and this one talks about how it's a timeless elegance, celebrating the beauty of humanity through a series of different figures. Each piece captures the unique essence of the human form. I thought that also was pretty relevant. Okay, and last but not least, we have this touch of nighttime sky, which are these beautiful stars that you can place on walls and ceilings. And I actually think this is kind of random for them to include as a build object in, in Lovestruck. It's stars, it's the sky, definitely could link to to a future pack. So with all of that in mind, we know all the buzzwords. There is a little bit of an undertone of a story, how the earth is in danger or at risk of being taken over by aliens or monsters or something. So I think this could be a Strangerville 2.0, where we get the introduction of some kind of space or future gameplay with a story that we get to kind of explore throughout to kind of get a feeling of what space or the future could look like in The Sims 4, I want to try out The Sims 3 into the future expansion pack. So let's jump into that and get a feeling for what it could look like in The Sims. Okay, we have jumped into The Sims 3. We are about to play The Sims 3 into the future expansion pack, which was the 11th expansion pack in the franchise. All right, I've just moved her into a random house and it is not long before the time portal should pop up. There you go, right on cue. We can't immediately access it. We can inspect it. Now we're meeting our friend Emmett. Emmett says, greetings, I'm Emmett. Emmett Revelart, you seem like an adventurous sim. Perhaps you'd like to use my time portal. Find and collect the power cells on your lot. That is our first quest. So let's go and pick them all up, collect power cells. I think something like this, they would make a little bit harder in The Sims 4. I think more of um, a story, some kind of narrative rather than just collecting things. Oh yeah, that was easy, repairing our time portal. Okay, we have unlocked the portal. So we can summon the time traveler or we can travel to the future.
future. The time in this world, in the present day, pauses whilst we are in the future, but we can live in the future. So we can be there indefinitely and then just come back or not. Yeah, it unlocks a bunch of new gameplay. The decisions that you make over in the future will have an impact on the present day. Okay, we are in Oasis Landing, which is protected by these walls, large concrete walls. It is a super sci-fi futuristic world, and we access it through our portal. Emma achieved the impossible, breaking down the universe's walls to achieve time travel. <gasps> So cool. Okay, we have a new objective is to fly around with a jetpack. Oh my God, hang on. Before we do that, I want to explore. Look at these lots. These are crazy. They are just the most amazing construction. So that is insane. I wouldn't even know how to begin building that. We have these really cool lots on the water. This is like a bar, I think. Yeah, this looks like a bar that will um, have Sims spawn to it. We have a day spa and a bookstore. Oh my God, so many options. Is this my house? This is a really cool house. Look at these beds. Look at the futuristic furniture. These are elevators. <gasps> so cool. That look kind of reminds me of a, a ride in a water park. The TV. Are you serious? The TV is so cool. Just some kind of hologram. So cool with the jetpack. Okay, let's head over to a random spot here. Visit Reflective Park. Wait, there's so many cool forms of travel. Look at this. Look how cool that is. Okay, so I actually just missed her using her jetpack, but if you click on jetpack, fly around, there you go. <laughs> so cool. I would love to use one of those. How much fun would that be in real life? Now we have a new objective, greet a plumb bot and then instruct to explain its function. Okay, we can do that. I think I've seen one. Oh, there's lots here. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, they're getting along. Friendly chat. Instruct plumb bot to explain function. Let's find out about it. Yeah, this is where we were earlier in the day. It looks so cool at night. Well, it's getting kind of late, so I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go to bed. Well, this is my new home. I love the decor. I feel like I could do a whole video dedicated to just building. So. Yeah, this is honestly just like the tip of the iceberg with this pack. There's obviously so much more detail that you can go into. Yeah, if The Sims 4 do their kind of interpretation of this, I I again think it's gonna be something with a story and a narrative similar to StrangerVille, where there is some kind of looming greater power that's gonna take over planet Earth. It's at risk of ruin and you have to solve the quest, solve the stories to, I guess, save our planet. That's really like a little teaser of what they could do in The Sims 4. But there's a lot of potential. There is a lot of potential. Okay, moving on to our second potential Sims 4 future pack. And that is all about hotels, holidays, vacations. So we kind of already have a few different packs which could link to this. We obviously have Island Living. We have a lot of vacation worlds. We now have rentals, for, uh, residential rentals with for rent, but we don't have any hotels. And we did have hotel packs in both The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, and they are hinting at it in a lot of these items. So starting with this sofa, which came with for rent, this vessel is the therapeutic relaxation needed during a tense vacation. Definitely the buzzword here is vacation. Poolside loungers talks about how you can dive into a book, dive into the pool. Every day can feel like a vacation. Actually, these two counters here are really interesting. This first one talks about having your very own island, which would be amazing. And the second one talks about how it's ideal for counting the minutes down until you're fired, which is not immediately linked towards vacation. But what I have noticed is that kind of amongst the vacation references is also references to working, managing staff, and getting fired. So I think it's more about the management of a hotel. So it's not a vacation pack like Island Living or all of the other vacations pack, sorry, like outdoor retreat, but it's about actually managing a hotel and maybe getting fired or firing your staff. Here we have the triangle wedge cushion, which talks about, again, perfect for relaxing, reading a book or getting work done. There you go. Holiday mention and getting work done. This table here says I'm speaking to the manager that is definitely hinting towards some kind of management pack. Again, this white lily lounger talks about whether you've had a long day at work or are still on the clock. Another work reference 
reference. These four objects are recent ones that came with Love Struck. So this red couch talks about how you can relax after a long day of hard work. This wooden table is really interesting. Oh no, wait, sorry. That was actually for this pack or the last one that we'll talk about. This indoor fan talks about how it reminds them of theme park days or hot tourists shopping on vacation. So another vacation reference. And finally, this mother of pearl hanging light is compared to the exquisite pearl from the ocean. So my guess is that we're getting some kind of island pack, maybe similar to island living and how it looks in terms of the aesthetic, but it definitely has more of a focus on running hotels, management, getting fired, long hard day of work, which would be an amazing addition to The Sims 4. So let's jump into The Sims 3 and check out the Island Paradise pack. Okay, we are back in The Sims 3. We are now becoming a resort owner. I actually haven't played this in years, so we're gonna be kind of playing this out for the first time. And we have a beautiful new world, a lot of different islands, a lot of different lots. Also can build on water, which is really cool. There's some community lots, fishing lots. We have resorts, we have a, a main kind of town square. Okay, so we are playing with this family down here. We are, who are we? Honey Hamada. So you can become a resort owner by clicking on the laptop under real estate, become a resort owner. Picking the name of the resort, we have to go with Honey's Hideaway. That has such a nice ring to it. So now if we go under all of our real estate under resorts, we have Honey's Hideaway. It is currently at a two star with some bad reviews because we obviously haven't done anything to it. Okay, so it is this one in the top. We have a little red icon above it, Honey's Hideaway. Let's go. Oh my God, we are even taking a water taxi across. So cool. Oh yeah, imagine pulling up to work like this every day. Okay, this is our resort. So this looks thriving. I think Honey's Hideaway is already doing pretty well for itself. So we have a couple different beach huts over here. We have lots of beach activities. People are sunbathing, fire pit. We have oh, a couple of things that look a little run down out here. And then we have the check-in area here, bathrooms, some communal areas where people can cook and then we have some food out here and a buffet table. I don't think this is looking too badly. I think we could do a little bit of a cleanup, but let's go and introduce ourselves to our staff Einstein. So we can assign resort uniform, check in, ask about diving, adventure. Let's assign some uniforms. Beach casual, modern, formal, Spanish style. Ooh, what's eco-modern? Oh, damn, that looks nice. Okay, yeah, that takes us up another level. Maybe a little too fancy, but I quite like it. Okay, if we click on the computer, we have the option to create custom uniforms, hire new employees for the front desk, and a resort management. So under resort management, you can set the resort pricing. Let's do that. Affordable, moderate, or expensive. We need more money, so I'm going to do moderate. Uh, we can also open and close the resort, manage the maintenance crew. So we have one low quality for 25 simoleons or you can have as many as you want. You can adjust that. So I've just spent a bit of time adding a couple different renovations. So we have a little improved bonfire area here with some nicer chairs. I've just scattered a few more of these loungers, which people are already enjoying. And I've added another food stall, which I think we need to assign. Don't we need to find someone? Hire a new employee for food stand. There you go. Bruce. Assign uniform. Let's do, what did we do before? Eco-modern. Set food and drink quality. Let's do medium. Okay, so just a couple of different improvements. I'm intrigued what kind of difference that will make for our reviews. Okay, some more reviews are in from one and a half stars. Wait, what was the review we had before? Yes, we had one and a half stars before because that was the gym or broom closet. Two, now we have two and a half stars. So a huge improvement actually. Some feedback are things like upgrading the food stand, maybe having gym equipment. The second review also says that we need an improved gym. The only thing holding me from giving this resort an extra star is the lack of a firewalk pit. Okay, that's an easy fix. And then also a comment on the food. So we have very specific feedback about food, buffet, and some random uh, fire pit walk. So easy fixes, but that's so cool. Okay, that was just a very little taster of what we could be getting in The Sims 4. I don't want to do a fully fleshed out gameplay right now. That took me right back. That was really fun, the, the short time that I played. There's a lot of possibilities here for 
building, I can imagine The Sims 4 resort builds by creators would be incredible. And then there's a whole management side, which I imagine is, would have its own menu in The Sims 4. So yeah, a little tester into potentially The Sims 4 resorts. And finally, we have our third future Sims 4 pack, and that is theater or some kind of like stage, performance, music, band pack. This one's a little bit of a mishmash of a few different themes, but they definitely all play into kind of theater, production, and performance, and showbiz. I think showbiz could be a key word here. We're gonna start with some new objects, actually. So these lights and all of these curtains came with Lovestruck. So these fringe lamps talks about a lamp that reminds you of a dancer's fringe. Very obvious relating to some kind of dance. Hint. This beaded curtain is actually called behind the double beaded curtain, like behind the scenes. This curtain here doesn't actually have anything in the description, but the look of it with the tassels definitely gives theater. And then in this smaller curtain, it actually does mention lights, camera, drama, dim the lights, and even completely cover them with this beautiful blackout roped curtain. It reminds me of the theater, a perfect way to wake up and tell yourself, I am the main character, I am the drama. Okay, then we have this, which is kind of bizarre, the choose violence bar stool which talks about from the world stage wrestling matches to your local dive bar so not exactly linked but at the end it also does say but also break on impact for dramatic effect then we have the bar stool from the cozy bistro kit at the end mentions because every plot twist needs the right setting we have this ottoman also from lovestruck this one mentions symphony of elegance okay so this is where i'm starting to think maybe it's more music and dancing symphony of elegance and then this here is called the Artisanal Harmony Wooden Table. We have kind of a mix of dancing, stage wrestling, music, and bands. It's not super specific, but there is enough here that I think there could be a pack related to showbiz. But actually at the moment, I do think it's the weakest one. So I'm more convinced on the other two. And of course, fairies is a huge topic at the moment. That is kind of the only occult sim left to be introduced. Unlike with The Sims 3 Supernatural, they have broken up all the different occult cults into different packs. We obviously have Realm of Magic, Werewolves, Vampires, and I actually do think we will get a Fairies pack eventually. I think the gameplay will need to be super fleshed out in order to make it a solid standalone game pack. And it's interesting to look at The Sims 3 Fairies to see kind of what gameplay we might be getting. Actually, let's just do that now. Let's just jump into The Sims 3 to play some Fairies. So we are in cast in The Sims 3, and you can actually become a Fairy straight from Create a Sim. I'm not totally convinced on her outfit. It, to be honest. Before we go any further in fairy world, we are changing that. So let's go to full looks. Okay, that is way more like it. We are now looking at a fairy. So we have a couple of different fairy wings options. We have willowed wisps, dreamy dragonflies, majestic monarch. Oh my god, they're so pretty. These are a bumblebee. Oh my god, they're so cute. Little small ones at the back. These ones are really pretty too, just lightly glistening. I think I'm gonna go with these. Okay, so I've just moved our sim into a random lot. I wanted to show you that down here underneath the headshot of the sim is the kind of fairy magic meter So this will slowly deplete with every use of magic And I think once it fully depletes you have to wait up to six hours for it to become full again And then you can use your powers you start off with very few interactions Like the only self interaction I have is I can fly or I can turn on a soothing aura And then the more magic you use the more interactions actually become unlocked and obviously fairies fly fly everywhere they go apart from she took a taxi to the park. So I want to show you these two objects here. This is called the fairy castle or the fairy bungalow. So you can actually live in one of these fairy houses. You can also throw a fairy house party. You can enter fairy house. Yeah, so fairy goes into little small fairy form and sleeps in the fairy house. That is so cute. This weather is awful. How am I supposed to show you anything when it's hailing? Okay, we've had to come to a gym to actually talk to other sims because it's still so rainy out. So I'm gonna show you a few of the basic fairy tricks. So a lot of the fairies are tricksters. I think most of the interactions are all about playing tricks. <laughs> this is what one of them looked like where you make the sims have chattering teeth and super cold. They obviously don't respond well to the drogues. This is definitely a good starting point, I think for the Sims 4 fairies, but I would love to see much more gameplay. Well, I think I, we would be getting a menu similar to werewolves or 
for vampires, so some kind of tier system where you can unlock things as you go. I also feel like a fairy world would be amazing, considering we got one with werewolves and vampires. The fairy fashion is gonna be really fun, lots of different wings and colors. I'm excited about the fairy pack. I'm not an occult player, but I am intrigued about all that they, they could do with it. So that is all for today's video. I would love to know what you all think of the three potential future Sims 4 packs, as well as fairies and maybe a Grim Reaper pack. Let me know what you would be most excited for, which one you think has the most potential. So that is all for today's video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!